Hello, Scorpios. This is your weekly love reading for February. So let's see who we have for you guys this week. Oops. So Scorpio, Scorpios. Oops. Clumsy. <clears throat> Your main card here. Okay, your main card. Mm. What up with you, Scorpios? This three of swords. Sadness. Isolation. It's called. Okay. Your inner energy. Okay the empress or creativity your outer energies moment by moment two of pentacles okay what you need to do slowing down this one is the knight of pentacles And next, okay, control. Uh, I might need to get some more clarification card because this three of swords, this sadness. Yeah, clearly now I see that it comes because of this control energy. But I'm not sure whose is it, if it's your partner or if it's you. Let me get some more clarification. One for you. And one for your partner. Let's see what we have here. Okay, you stress and your partner intensity. Okay, so it may be... Okay. It's you. <laughs> Okay, Scorpios. So, uh, all right. This, what I see here is this this control energy here, being tied up with this stress here, which is yours. Uh, so there's a situation in your relationship where that is affecting your relationship um, there is a, sit a situation that you're, you're afraid to lose control of and you're trying really you've tried very hard I feel like this was like uh, and you've kind of learning how to transition from this but I feel like you've been in this energy of trying to you know um, hold it together and have control over this overwhelming thing that came see like you had to deal with an overwhelming energy and intensity here that came at you and made you feel like this trying very hard not to lose control and be on the top of, you know, hold your balance here. Uh, so this, this was like this rush of energy coming at you, threatening, you know, to d destabilize, destabilize you. And you've tried so hard to hold control, to, to get, you know, a hold of things and maintain control and uh, it's sort of like 
um, affected you in a way that it, it, it like it left it left you with this sadness of maybe um yeah i feel like you've lost something you lost you've lost control of something um but now you find yourself in this new energy in this new space creativity it it kind of erased this uh you trying to control things and hold it together in straight lines and it, now it created this space for you where you can be actually free and stop trying to control and actually express yourself from a more authentic place and space within you uh this this and this one is having like the flowing energy allowing and it's also about creating something new with complete new energy so this is you're learning now how to integrate this within you so i feel like this was in the past this rush of energy that came over you and threatened you and like took over your control but you, you although you're trying to manage this and you're trying to handle this but there's this still sense of sadness there of something l losing something of, of yeah like i feel like you've lost something with this control and it left you sort of um still dealing with this energy although you're transitioning and you're trying not to um make sense of things and you're trying to adapt with this new energy um and your partner here they're holding it together uh they're being they're you know jumping through this like agitated waters like this is hostile environment these waves these crushing waves and they're trying to now they're trying <laughs> to keep control now they're trying to keep their balance and balance themselves through this like you know on this rock through these waves so now they're trying to keep it to keep it together um but what you need to do what what your advice to do here is to don't lose your uh faith don't don't give in to this energy of you know sadness or because you can build it all back together if you're working at it slowly but surely and actually you're you're building what whatever you've lost whatever like has been shaken from you you're, you're building it with this like new energy create you you're now ready to create with new energy and build something that is actually reliable and that cannot be blown off by just anything so this needed you needed to kind of lose control of something you needed to lose something because you need to create it again and this time as i said with new energy and this time is reliable and what i get from your life it has to do with your relationship i think you like your relationship now it's been through a like a storm but now you're learning Although you're still dealing with some pain here and with some hurt here, you're actually getting over that slowly and steady. And they're trying to keep their balance. They're trying to keep it together. But the thing is that now you're both creating something and you're you no know, balancing into this new energy that is being created and that you're creating with probably a new attitude that you have now learn how to uh, adapt to that you learn how to integrate it 
in you so uh there's no worry there's no need for you to be sad and there's no need for you to to be worried and whatever you've lost or whatever be grateful for that because it helps you to build something even stronger um okay let me draw one more card as it, about what exactly you've lost what is it that you said about yeah control <laughs> yeah you you've lost oops control because you've you've fighting you were fighting the currents when you actually need, needed to let go this ace of cups it's about surrender surrender is the opposite of what you've been hanging on to so yeah whatever is like you tried so hard to control you actually needed to let that go and don't be sad about that it's like a blessing actually there's no need for you to be sad about losing something that you thought you had control over you needed to do that because you need to create something from a genuine space from a better space within yourself and don't worry because it's not uh, you know jumping just like that fast because it's not something that is just overnight it cannot be reliable so you need time and you need patience and you need to keep like keep going this one this card is slowing down it's slowed down it, it doesn't need to happen like fast uh just builds slowly but surely it establish a solid foundation and something that you can rely on so don't be sad of whatever you thought you've lost you needed to lose that you needed to lose control of something because you need to surrender and as i said and i repeat you need to create now from a new place and a new space and actually make your relationship even stronger and more reliable and more genuine because you it, the love grows stronger through hardships and through these experiences this is what deepens your love and your bond with someone with going through things together and learning things together you know like love is not just the the passion you have at first or the you know easy when it's easy that's not love love is true when it's when you go deep when you experience heavy things together and you manage to pull through i mean that's real love so be grateful for that because it strengthens your bond and it's creating a reliable uh relationship so uh there's no need for you to be in this energy of sadness you need to get over that and you need to be grateful for what you have and sh shift your perspective it's all good it's all for the better whatever you've lost or whatever don't be sad about that it's for your benefits so yeah this is kind of what i see from this spread here i hope this made sense for you guys for whoever resonated with this and if you didn't, it's okay. Maybe in my next reading, I may have a message for you there. And this wasn't for you. <clears throat> Either way, always listen to your intuition first, of course. And only take what resonates from a reading. So, thank you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.